Hey everyone, NSC Campos here. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the top five worst video games that I have ever played. Some of them you probably have heard of and some of them you probably haven't heard of. There are games I've played when I was younger and some games I have probably played right now. They, there's a lot of them, like there's a, a lot of range between them. Some of them come from like the old Nintendo 64 games and some of them come from the old PS3 games. They're just games that I bought and I pretty much regret ever playing. I played them maybe two or three times and I just, I hated it because I couldn't return it to GameStop to get my money back. In this video, I'm clapping with another YouTuber, Hippie Gamer Chick. She's going to tell you some of the games that she has played that she thinks pretty much sucks. I don't know her choices, but let's see what she got. I have never been into is Call of Duty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I think we're going to skip that one. Yeah. Um, actually, that's one of my favorites, so I think we're going to skip that one. Really, really scared to throw this one out there. Is Zelda. Damn. Okay. Um, we're just going to skip that one as well. Let's see what's her third option. Fifth game on my list is uh, another game I'm going to get destroyed for, FIFA. I hate all the FIFAs. I just... You know what? That's enough of that. Um, but anyways, please check out her video because... She has a she has an interesting reason why to not like these games. And to be honest, I can see why. But you know, but we're just gonna go back to my list. You can check out her list in the link below, but damn. For number five, the game I wanna talk about is Urban Champion. It's from the old Nintendo games from back in the day, the, you know, the original Nintendo system. It was kind of probably one of the first fighting games to ever be created. My dad played it when he was younger. He, it was the first game he ever got for his Nintendo, and he hated it. It's five stages of a blue guy versus a, a green guy. And all they do is just fight it out until one of them gets knocked into the streets. It sounds pretty awesome, but back in the day, it was pretty basic and you could have finished the game in about five minutes it sucked it was repetitive and it was the worst 40 or 50 bucks he ever spent for number four i'm gonna pick a game called the big mother truckers who's your daddy who's your daddy who's your daddy why do you keep asking that you're my cousin not my daddy when redneck truckers get behind the wheel of big rigs get out of the way Big Mother Truckers, only nineteen ninety five. Rated T. It's sort of like Big Rigs. It's it's more you know developed, and it was actually a finished game. But I just think it sucks. In the in the game um copy, when you get it, it looks like it's Grand Theft Auto. You know, it has the same style, the um, the same artwork, and the intro isn't that bad. But it's nothing like Grand Theft Auto. You're just in a truck the entire time. You pick random trucks, and you're supposed to deliver, like, supplies to um, some old lady. And it just gets annoying, because throughout the entire time, it's supposedly the cops are supposed to come after you, but they never they never come. It's not a race, because you're not racing, really, against anybody. It's just, again, it's just like, um, it's just a car game trying to race against the clock. For number three, I'm going to talk about a game called Naughty Bear. some fans of this game but to be honest i just didn't like it it's not a it's not a horrible game there's you know it's not it's not broken there's not that many glitches into it and the story is kind of interesting it's about this bear called naughty bear who lives in this bear island 
they don't inv- they don't invite him to a party, so he gets really angry about it, and he decides to kill all the other bears. Some of it is really interesting. Like you can kill the bears by sneaking up on them, shooting them, or just fighting them, stabbing them to death. It sounds really morbid, but there's not really any blood in it. It's just stuffing everywhere. And he dresses up as other characters, like Jason, Freddy. It's kind of cute, but also kind of crazy as hell. I bought the game for like $30. My dad told me it was a stupid game, and I should have I should have believed it. I should have believed it. I played it like three times, but I got really annoyed with it because it was really slow. And sneaking up on the on the bears was just kind of boring. It's kind of like the kitty version of Hitman, but this is not as fun. People do like this game, and you know what? That's their opinion. It's just, I can't play this game again. For number two, um, I have to pick a game called Seven Days to Live. Or is it Seven Days to Survive? I'm not sure. I bought the game a couple years ago for the PS3, and it was kind. Of, they people called it like the Minecraft version of, of zombies, and that sounds pretty tight. However, it pretty much sucks. You you spawn in a random place, just like in Minecraft, and you have to you know build stuff. So you got to punch wood to get the wood. But in Minecraft, you know it's super fast. You you hit the you you hit the block of wood like five or six times. You collect it, you make pickaxes, and then you just build, you know, your whole, your whole campground, your own house. It's super easy. It's fun. It's seven days to live, however. You punch the wood for probably like two or three minutes. It takes forever. And you get like a block of wood. It doesn't do anything. You got to keep punching wood and keep punching stone to make something. And to be honest, it's not really worth it. In the daytime, it's pretty okay. There's nothing there, but when at night, zombies are coming in. They start pouring in, and you don't even have enough you know, materials to make a good weapon or a good shelter. They just keep pouring in. And if you fight the zombies that are on fire, you're just screwed. And you can't get out, because you're like in this little area. The area you are in is safe until the nighttime. When you get out of that area to go look for other materials, you're screwed, because there's all kinds of like hardcore zombies just, just trying to kill you. You keep dying and dying, and to be honest, it's like you have to actually spend countless hours making your little campground, making weapons to go out into the into the open. And it's just not really that worth it. It's glitchy as hell. It's pretty boring, and there's not really much to see. It's just a lot of fog and wind. It's just a very boring, like, evil version of Minecraft. For number one... I'm going to talk about Grand Theft Auto China Wars. Pre-order Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars for the... It's it had a good story. It wasn't the story wasn't that bad. It's just that compared to the other Grand Theft Auto stories, it just wasn't that interesting. I think if they put it like a normal Grand Theft Auto game, it would have done way better. But it was for the DS, and instead of being a third person, you were on top of the character. It's I don't know how to describe the game. It was just very different from everything else. Even the PSP games, you know, Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, they had it good. You know, it wasn't a full, you know, like, fucking two-day game. But still, there was a lot of time in the game. They put a lot of work into it. And it was like prequels to Liberty City and Vice City. The characters were pretty tight. Story wasn't that bad. And it always led to the future game. And it was like, you know, a good diversion from playing it on PlayStation or Xbox. I love still playing those games on PSP. But playing this game on DS was just a big rip-off. 
It wasn't like any of the other Grand Theft Auto games. It was boring. Um, you're not that interested in the characters, and to be honest, he's never referenced in any other Grand Theft Auto game. They just people just completely forgot about him. I think they should give him another shot because it was just there's so much potential on it, but putting it on DS was just a bad idea. Um, I'm I put on number one because it was just you know you could have done it right, but you chose not to. Be honest, just let let Nintendo do their own thing. I know Grand Theft Auto, you know Rockstar wants to branch out to other pl platforms, but I think just let the DS and the 3DS just let and the Nintendo Switch just let it. Let them, let them do their own thing. You already got everything else. That was my top five worst video games that I have ever played. Probably, some of you guys have probably heard of them, and some of you are just hearing about them for the first time. But they're just games that I regret buying. It was a waste of money, and to be honest, I haven't touched for a couple of years. Seriously, thank you for watching, and I can't wait to come at you with another top five video in the future. Have a good day.